Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all future tutorials and today I've got a really cool tutorial on how to use the dissolve mesh tool which comes with the popcorn effects library so what you're going to want to do is you want to load up your character or load up any prop that you want to dissolve and you want to head over to your popcorn effects library and we're going to scroll down to this tool here which is called dissolve mesh now if we um, double click that um, and it's quite important to double click it so it kind of sets up the right parameters so it puts it right in um, the middle of your floor so we'll double click that and if you hit play uh, you know nothing actually happens uh, but if we go on to our popcorn effects here and you can see we've got the option to sample a mesh We'll choose the picker tool and we'll just click our character. But you'll see here that uh, it does this cool effect, covers him in lava, but then when it does melt, you can still see our character. So it took me a while to kind of figure it out, but after I did, I realized it was quite an easy, easy way to do it. So what you want to do is, very simply, you want to record um, a few seconds or, you know, say we wanted to start, you know, with the character just stood there. So we'll turn that off. We'll go a few seconds and then at this point the fire comes on, we'll pause there. And then what you simply want to do is go into your scene tab here and you want to select your character. And then we can go into our material list here. I don't know why all these tabs are shut, so let me just open them up very quickly. Okay, so we can go in our um, material list here and we just come down basically to our opacity setting here. And the trick is, is that when the lava covers the object, the prop, the character, you want to just turn down the opacity after that. And then it will look as if the subject's been melted. So what we want to do is we want to get the right keyframe here. So we want to actually set a keyframe on our character. So we'll just go down to transform and we'll come about here. So we'll set that keyframe there. And if we go back to the beginning and hit play, you'll see the lava goes on and then just after that keyframe, we're gonna turn the opacity of the character right the way down. And then we'll hit play and then you'll see, you'll get a really cool effect as if, you know, the character's been melted. So I'll just play that from the top and we can watch that back. Now, if you noticed, if we go back to the beginning, you'll notice that the character appears to be fading out before the effect so you can see there he's fading out already so we don't want that uh, the simple fix is what we want to do is we're just going to go back here in our timeline to the very beginning and when the opacity is up we'll we'll grab this here and we'll just drag it here to the beginning and if that doesn't do the trick as you can see it hasn't there Oops, I think I've undone too far. Right, so at this point, what we want to do is just set a keyframe here. And then we'll bring that all the way up. And then we just want to duplicate that. If it lets me, which it doesn't seem to be letting me at the minute. Okay, and then you'll see there that that no longer happens and you just want to drag that to the beginning and then you know that will be that will get rid of that so you know really really amazing um, feature really cool way to melt pretty much any mesh uh, really hope that helps and really hope the tutorial was clear and that concludes today's tutorial guys so hopefully see you again soon for another tutorial